Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today, quick lesson on 5G, specifically the two different types of 5G that currently exist in the US. Uh, you have high frequency or what some people also call millimeter wave 5G. Those terms are used interchangeably. So if you hear people talking about them, they both mean the same thing. The other type of 5G that is currently available is considered low band or low frequency 5G. So what's the difference? The difference is the high frequency 5G bands uh, are what give you those crazy fast data transfer speeds that you've probably seen online. Verizon's bragged about them. AT&T has bragged about them. Those are the speeds that are like 1,000 up, down, um, you know, way faster than probably the Wi-Fi you have in your home. Uh, that's high frequency. And then the low frequency 5G bands are about, you know, people are saying around 20% faster than your typical 4G uh, speeds. So the question then becomes, why would you want the low band or the low frequency 5G? Well, the reason is the low band 5G travels much farther. So your reception is probably going to be much more consistent with low frequency 5G. In addition, low frequency 5G can also travel through things like walls and trees, whereas high frequency 5G cannot. So while the high frequency 5G is going to give you much faster speeds, it's going to be a much more inconsistent connection. And like I said, if you're indoors, you're probably not going to get any type of reception or connection with high frequency 5G. So there are three types of 5G bands that exist in the US right now. One of them is low band, two of them are high band. So the reason you need to know this is depending on what carrier you have will determine what type of 5G you can utilize. So right now T-Mobile is focusing on low band 5G. Verizon and AT&T are focusing more on high band 5G. So if you're going to spend all kinds of money on a new phone in 2020, you're going to want to make sure that your 5G phone can utilize the 5G frequency bands that your carrier is currently using. Moving forward in my will it work uh, reviews of phones, I will talk about 5G compatibility and what frequency bands those phones can use because not all 5G phones can utilize all 5G frequency bands. So anyway, hope you found the video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop those down in the comments. Thanks for watching and until next time, this is Rando Tech Info signing out.